<clears throat> Welcome everyone. We're going to be looking at this uh, small cell grid that's uh, taking place. We're going to do some readings and there's a warning on the back of them that they put up recently and we also got our freedom information request so we're going to be posting stuff on these antennas and we did see a video from australia how there there's a lot of concern about these small cell sites coming up and this is a perfect example in front of me so we'll do the readings but i want to make it clear before we start these small cell sites in my opinion like they're going along this main road all this downtown core here in calgary alberta canada these things are all about autonomous self-driving vehicles in my opinion and they're creating the network the continuous connection that's the only thing i can explain by these but if you got any other ideas share them but i want to show you this this is the reality on the ground in contrast to all the media nonsense distractions but here it is there so we did some other videos we didn't do a live so we thought let's do, let's do a live on these small cell sites and maybe we can help inform other other people about them and if you look at it it looks pretty pretty harmless eh? pretty small it's on it's on the lamppost there you think not much about it but what's really troubling is these things are almost as powerful as these base stations and I believe there's uh, fiber optics running in there, so there's continuous connection from some base station around here right into there, and then it's blasting out. Let's do some readings, and then we'll then we'll see where we're at here. Yeah, there it is. There, I hope I hope you can see that, folks. funny it fluctuates because the last time we were here it was a lot higher so they're obviously playing with the with the frequency coming out of here but it's definitely blasting high frequency it's maxing out you can see there it's quite powerful folks see that there's no denying that the power output is not as much as these big base stations but the frequency is very high You see that? Very high frequency. So we're over 50, 5600 now power output. It's pretty high. But not as power, but look at the frequency. Just stuck there at six, eh folks? So they're blasting short distance based on the power output, not as much as the base stations, but the frequency is extremely high. Right there. Look at that. I'm gonna have to come back at a different time because they may be fluctuating the, the power output. But look at that frequency, folks. That's on the left-hand side there, the peak signal. And you can hear it. Hear the detection, the audio detection of the radiation. 71,000, uh, 7,100 I should say. That's microwatts per square meter coming out of this thing. People are so oblivious to this. But these are, these are like every half block, every block now in this downtown core here. Obviously it's gonna expand from there, but uh, we'll have to see. But I think this is all about autonomous self-driving vehicles. 
we'll get a closer look at this. So if it comes in your neighborhood, you'll know. But rest assured, these are going to be being deployed all over, especially in urban centers. I'll get on this side here, away from the sun. And that's an Ericsson antenna. And hopefully we get some information, more information on it. Right there, folks, quite powerful. There's a small cell site right there. Quite a thick cable, power cable coming in there. And you can see the Ericsson symbols. And Ericsson is out of Sweden. They do a lot of this 5G stuff. See that, folks? Right there. And then if we go around here, and that device there is connected to it as well, it may be a switching device. And this is something new here. I didn't see that when I was here before. Hopefully you can read that, but there's some kind of warning up there. I'll take a photo and post it. Hopefully we can read what that says. And if we look down here, they're all along. Going kilometers and kilometers that way. They're on other streets. So this whole grid around here is loaded with these small cell, cell, small cell sites now. But as Butch says here, they're weaponized to track folks. So, but I just wanted to share that with you folks. We didn't do a live on this. We were, um, um, bearing with a 30-day ban because of some video we posted in 220. Can you believe it? The censorship out there. But it's good because it means we're saying the right things if they're if they're trying to censor us. So, but we'll do more updates. But keep an eye out for these small cell sites. There, there will be no hiding from this. When when they get this all up, it's going to be all over. Like, you know, forget about the base station. All the small cell sites, the sellers sites. So. This is what they're up to, so please share this, folks.